The build quality is really the first thing I noticed with the Razer Edge. It feels nice, solid, aluminum, like a really, really good device that's durable and feels much better than some similar devices that are already out, which we'll talk about in a future video. I have to give it to Razer. It has felt really good, much better than I was expecting. And then we started playing games on it, of course, using Xbox Game Pass. And it's really impressive how well that works. The controls are very responsive. The display at 6.8 inches is very immersive. It's, that's one of the first things you notice about it, that nice HD plus display that they have on it. It really punches right at you. And the game played really well. It's very responsive considering that we're inside the convention center at CES and a lot of the wireless can be have a lot of issues. And this is running on 5G as well too. And it's interesting enough, it was a little bit low on battery as we were playing with it as well too. But overall, the gaming experience is really good with this, especially with cloud gaming. Uh, it does do local gaming as well too, so you can download different Android games and things like that. It comes with 120 gigabytes of storage uh, built into it, but you can expand it up to two terabytes if you need to. The controllers are obviously detachable. They're basically a Kishi V2 Pro that are specifically made for the Razer Edge. Now, it does use USB-C, and you can attach it to another phone that or device that does support USB-C with it, but you can't buy that specific version of that separate by itself. It's gonna come bundled with the Razer Edge here, but I'm much more impressed with it. I like the software as well too. They have custom software on here that is designed to work and make it feel like a true gaming experience. This is just some skin overlay they slapped on. It's got all the supported cloud services such as Xbox Game Pass and uh, GeForce Now, and you also have Steam Link as well too, all right on it. It feels like a pretty solid experience. I'm really excited for when we get the final version of this and we get it in our hands and being able to really use this in I think in the next couple of weeks or so. But so far, I'm really impressed Razer and I'm hoping this starts the next revolution of handhelds and we start seeing some more companies come out with some really cool stuff like this.